can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Hey everybody, I'm Ben, that's Matt behind the camera, and that makes this stuff they don't want you to know. Now today we're going to just have a quick update about a book we've checked out and we think you might enjoy it. It's Killing Hope, can you get a shot of that, Matt? By William Bloom. Now this is a history of US military and CIA interventions in foreign countries since World War II. There are a couple things that you should know about this book. First, the guy who writes it, clearly has a partisan position. He feels that some of the worries that the United States government had about communism were overblown or perhaps even disingenuous at times. This book is where we got some of the information about the coup in Guatemala, which we mentioned in our earlier series on Bernays. The next thing you need to know about this book is that it does function as a reference work, albeit a biased one. So when you start wondering, oh, what, what happened in Iran with the Iranian Revolution? Uh, why the great animosity between the United States and Cuba, excuse me, Cuba, uh, then what you'll wanna check out is a book like this, but you'll also want to find, any time that you run into a partisan source, you'll want to find at least another partisan source, at least an argument from the other side. Now, we have a couple of other books we'd also like to recommend with international relations in mind. One of those would be The Grand Chessboard by Zbigniew Brzezinski, which I believe I have pronounced eh, one out of 10, maybe an eight on the correctness scale. Uh, we cannot give enough high praise nor enough caution for reading this book. And with that quick update done, we hope that everybody's having a swell week. Let us know what you wanna hear more about. Drop us a line on Facebook, give us a holler at Twitter, and if you're feeling old fashioned, go ahead and send us. Hey, Josh. <clears throat> ben? Matt?